hello folks so in this video i'm going to uh, basically deploy our uh, web app flask web app on azure cloud so if you remember we uh, the steps we took were so first of all we created a machine learning model uh, which is a multiple linear regression model to predict profit of a particular startup based on certain spending amounts as well as uh, the state where this particular startup is located right and uh, the way we do it was, uh, was creating a machine learning model first then after that we created a flask app and in the flask app we created a front end uh, to basically gather all the inputs in terms of uh, spend amount as well as uh, state where this lo uh, startup is located and then uh, we also created a back end uh, wherein this machine learning uh, model will predict uh, first of all, it will uh, take those input values from the front end and uh, front end web page, and then after uh, gathering the, that information, it will provide it as an input to the machine learning model, which is residing in the back end. And uh, then after uh, you know uh, predicting the uh, result, it will provide the result on screen itself so that was flask uh, then after that we created a docker file and then out of that docker file we created a docker image and then that docker image uh, was published on docker hub so you can see here so this was the uh, docker hub image we published right and then once it was published and you can see here the tag related to is 1.0 so this is the tag okay so let me copy this okay so we published that now the next step and the last step is to basically deploy a web app uh, on azure cloud and then we will be utilizing this uh, uh, you know image uh, which we created and published on uh, docker hub so let's get ahead uh, we'll click on services or there is another way we can click on create a resource and from here we can click on web app so it will open the uh, web app and it will ask for certain values or parameter values so app name i will give ml on cloud machine learning on cloud okay and i will be using my existing resource group which is ml resources operating system would be linux and publishing would be through docker image so we created this docker image right we'll be taking that docker image to post it on azure cloud then we need to provide or configure the container details all right then click on docker hub and provide your image docker image details and then after that tag which is 1.0 okay click apply now right and then click on create it will take a while to basically create this uh, web app and then uh, once this web app is created so you can see here it is showing the status is deployment in progress right uh, once this deployment is complete you will get a, another message saying that deployment is successful okay so uh, in the meantime uh, what i'm going to tell you is so once this app is deployed okay uh, the task is not over yet uh, what we need to do uh, as a next step is to provide the port number okay so if you remember we exposed port 5000 in our docker file right when we mentioned the statement as expose uh, 5000 right so we need to uh, configure the port as 5000 for this particular web app in order to access it from browser okay all right so it is taking a little bit time let's wait for it
okay so you can see the message deployment succeeded now correct so let's click on go to resource and here in the lower left corner you you can see this option application settings right so we will be making certain port related changes in the application settings correct so let's click on application settings and here you can see a page where it uh, actually asks for uh, application settings so in the application settings area just click on add new settings okay here add new settings and here you can provide port as 5000 okay and then you can save this okay so this is saved now and now click on overview again and then you you can see this particular url right https ml on cloud so ml on cloud was our web app name right so it prefixed it with the azure websites.net so click on it and then you will be able to see your front end which is profit prediction right so now through this you can uh, uh, see that you know you have exposed it to the entire world right and uh, anybody from outside your organization or from local host you know anybody can access this web app so if anybody wants to uh, do some predictions now all he needs to do it is just provide this url in the web browser and uh, you know start working uh, one more thing so this is azure websites.net you can see this uh, i mean my web app name prefixed with azure websites.net but if in case you have a specific domain name server okay like for example www. Uh, predictprofit.net or .com you can configure the same in azure portal itself while creating this web app okay on azure so you can make those configuration changes according to your need let's try to enter certain values so one it is a zero florida zero r and d spend is this and then submit and you can see the final prediction on your browser right so it can very well show you the result as well so now anybody uh, can just provide those values and start working and get the prediction results so guys uh, this is is uh, this is it this is the final video and uh, i'm glad that we have uh, you know uh, made till this far and if in case you like the entire uh, tutorial series as well as this video then please please uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe as well thank you